Hello everyone, I'm Julian from JJT Posts, and today I will be teaching you how to make your website responsive on the Wix platform. So for those of you that don't know what this means, it is essentially making it so that no matter what screen size you're viewing your website from, everything looks proper and it fills the entire screen. So if you pay attention to these trees, I will be showing you that no matter what the browser size is or the device that you're viewing on, everything completely fills the screen. So on a smaller screen, the trees would look closer like this. And on a larger screen, such as the one that I'm viewing on, the trees look more spread out. However, there is still content all throughout the page. And if you go throughout my website, everything is completely filling up the entire screen, which is exactly what you're looking for when designing a website. So I'm going to try and make this video nice and quick, and I will be going through a few different ways that you can do this. The first tip that I have for you in this video is to make sure that all of your content is within the grid lines on the page. So I have a single strip, there are no columns here, and you can see that there are grid lines on the side. You want to make sure that all of your content falls within these grid lines, or else you will get a horizontal scroll bar at the bottom of your monitor, or the content will simply be cut off of the sides and will not show on your web page. So the next tip that I have for you is to make sure that you're actually using strips throughout your web page. So strips are these little sections that you can put information on, and then if you were to actually move a strip, you can see that all of the content within the strip moves with it. So within these strips, you want to make sure that they are fully stretched. You do this by clicking the arrow here that says stretched. This means that your background on the strip will fill up the entire screen no matter how big or small the screen is. Next up, we're going to be talking about a few different things that you can also stretch very similar to strips. Some of those are going to be maps, slideshows, and galleries. So if you go up to the add button in the top left of your screen, you can go through in something such as a gallery, you can add to your page. This is going to be a bunch of different photos. So if I add this to my page, it is going to show up and it's in the center of my monitor. But if I don't want that, I can actually set it to stretched, which means all of the content within this page is going to be um, matching the different screen sizes. So it's going to, no matter what, fill up the entire screen of the person viewing your website. The next thing that we're going to be talking about is columns. As you can see in the beginning of my web page, I have three different columns that separate the different content. And within each column, if you click into the individual section, you will see that there are grid lines and you want to keep all of your content within the grid lines of each column. This is going to make it so that when your screen size changes, the content within those grid lines will also change with it. And this is a pretty cool feature that Wix includes, and I use this a lot. So what I would do with these columns, if say you wanted the center to be larger as mine is, is if you click out of this and then you go back in, so you have each, all three columns highlighted, um, you wanna go to layout, and then here you can change the different proportions that your columns are set to. For example, I have 22, 57, and 21, and that works out well for me, but you can change it to whatever you would like. In addition, you can also add columns by going to manage columns and then add a column. And I believe you can have up to four different columns per strip. Columns are Definitely a recommend as I use it here. You can see that I use columns here and on many other pages on my website I am using columns To finish off this video I highly recommend after making any changes to your website going up and switching to mobile view Now mobile view will allow you to see what all different people using mobile devices are gonna see and It's pretty much a completely different looking website than your desktop or PC view and it's very important that you change this after every edit, as even just deleting one line of text could completely throw off a mobile page on your website. And with that, I want to thank everyone for watching this video. I hope your day is well. And if you learned anything new, please leave a like. Thank you guys very much and have a wonderful day.